Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. We were learning about defalsification methods in the last video, and so far we learned about max membership principle, centroid method, weighted average method, and mean max membership method. Continuing from that, in this video we will learn about the methods of center of sums and center of largest area. So let's start our lecture. The center of sums method involves the algebraic sum of individual fuzzy sets instead of their union. Here, the defusified value set star is given by sigma ai into z bar i, the whole divided by sigma ai, where ai is the area of the region bounded by the fuzzy set ci, and z bar i is the geometric center of the fuzzy set ci. As an example, consider three output fuzzy sets C1, C2 and C3. Here we can see that C1 is an isosceles triangle. And we know that the area of a triangle is given by half into base into height. So the area of C1 which is A1 is given by half into base which is 4 units. 4 units into height of the triangle which is 1, 1 and this is equal to 2 units. Again due to symmetry of C1 we can easily find the geometric center along the z-axis as 2. Therefore z bar of C1 is equal to 2. Next we have the trapezoid C2. We know that the formula for calculating the area of a trapezoid is half into a plus b into h. So area of c2 can be written as a2 equal to half into a which is 5 minus 3 or 2 units plus b which is the base which is 6 minus 2 or 4 units into height which is 0.75. So 0.75 and this is equal to 2.25 units. Also due to the symmetry of trapezoid C2 the centroid is 4. Therefore Z bar 2 is equal to 4. In similar fashion the area of trapezoid C3 can be written as A3 equal to 0.75 units and centroid z bar 3 is equal to 8. Now that we know the area and centroid of each fuzzy set, let's calculate the defusified value z star which is equal to sigma ai into z bar i the whole divided by sigma ai. Therefore, we have 2 into 2 plus 2.25 into 4, so 2.25 into 4 plus 0.75 into 8, 0.75 into 8, the whole divided by 2 plus 2.25 plus 0.75 and this can be calculated as 3.8. Therefore, the defusified value is 3.8. Also, in this example, I didn't use these equations for calculating area and centroid because these were simple geometric shapes with symmetry. But in the case of complex membership functions, you have to use these equations. Next, let us learn about the method of center of largest area. As per this method, if the output fuzzy set has at least two convex subregions, then the center of gravity of the convex subregion with the largest area is used to obtain the defusified value. So, what is a convex subregion? To understand this, let us take a few examples. In each of these graphs, let us divide the graph into convex subregions. 
to do that you had to start from the leftmost point from there you had to keep moving to the right until the slope of the curve changes from negative to non negative in this graph the first occurrence of the slope changing from negative to non negative is here so the first convex subregion is this now you have to repeat this exercise until the end of the curve in this graph the second point of slope change is here therefore the second convex subregion is this following the same pattern the third convex subregion is this in similar fashion this graph has two convex subregions and this graph has three convex subregions and in this graph we only have one convex region okay now that you know how to identify the convex subregions in the center of largest area method the diversified value z star is simply the centroid of the largest convex subregion we can express this algebraically as z star equal to integral membership value of z in fuzzy set am into z d z the whole divided by integral membership value of z in fuzzy set am into d z here am is the convex subregion with the largest area as an example consider this fuzzy output first let us identify the convex subregions in this graph the first point where the slope changes from negative to non negative value is here so this shaded region is the first convex subregion let's name it as a1 next point where the slope changes from negative to non negative is here thus this shaded region represent the second convex subregion let this region be a2 now let's mark the points a b c d and e to find the equation of line segments here the line segment ab is given by mu of z equal to 0.25 z similarly we have the equation for bc cd and de now let us calculate the area of region a1 so area of a1 is given by integral 0 to 2.25 z d z plus integral 2 to 3 minus 0.25 z plus 1 d z this is equal to 0.875 units similarly area of a2 can be calculated as integral 3 to 4 0.75 z minus 2 dz plus integral 4 to 5.33 minus 0.75 z plus 4 dz and this is equal to 1.2 2917 units here we can see that the area of a2 is the largest so the diversified value can be obtained by finding the centroid of a2 therefore z star is equal to integral 3 to 5.33 mu a of z into z d z the whole by integral 3 to 5.33 mu a of z d z and this is equal to integral 3 to 4.75 z minus 2 into z d z plus integral 4 to 5.33 Minus point seven five z plus four into z d z, the whole by integral three to four point seven five z minus two d z plus 
integral 4 to 5.33 minus 0.75z plus 4 dz and this is equal to 4.0366 so the defacified value is 4.0366 that's all for this lecture. In the next video, we will learn about the last defacification method which is first or last of maxima. I hope that all the concepts taught in this lecture are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. Also, if you found the lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching Topperly and have a great day.